Friday the 13th, 2020, and four o'clock in the morning, my wall was broke. No contractions for like an hour and a half, and I'm starting to get a few like pains and twinges, so I'm having a bath. It was so funny because middle of the night my wall was broke, and I was like, Danny, my wall's broke, and he shot out of bed. Um, so yeah, what a day to have a baby, <laughs> Friday the 13th. Um, I phoned up the midwife and she was like, you can come in and be checked um, to see if your walks have broken, but because it's your fourth, you probably know whether or not they have. And I was like, yeah, they know they definitely have because the same thing happened with Ollie, my last, where my wall was broke, but I never had any contractions for a few hours. So she said, well, stay at home then. And then, um, if nothing happens by midday, come in and then we'll start talking about an induction and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm about to have a nice bath because as much as laying in bed <laughs> and trying to get some sleep, it's just like, you know, your endorphins start to kick in. And like I said, I'm getting a few twinges and stuff. So I'm just gonna have a nice bath and relax and let Danny get some shot eye because it could be, it could be a late night. I'll update you. Baby's coming. I've got Ollie's uh, space hopper and I'm bouncing away. And uh, Danny brought down the Moses basket. It's all wrapped up in saran wrap, like really thick saran wrap. So, because after I washed it, we wanted to keep it fresh. So, that's ready. I'm not quite ready. Having on and off contractions, but nothing with any regularity. So, I'm so. up the hospital. I'm in to check on me, check on baby. So I've had to give a urine sample and offer up my pad to show that my waters have broken and I'm just waiting. Danny has to wait outside, so oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a long day. <laughs> So I did it. <laughs> you think you can't do it, you think you can't get through it, but you can. Um, I have to stay in overnight because she'd pooed on the way out. It was very quick. Um, I went from having, she's staring, I went from having like very irregular contractions to come into hospital. They're checking me and saying, yeah, they're gonna induce me. So um, to just wait on a ward, because um, it's like they t they just go through a list of everyone that needs inducing so I was ninth to be induced but um, my contractions started coming while I was on the monitor and then they started coming quicker and quicker and quicker and then uh, they were like oh let's let's see how far on you are and then I was like oh you're five centimeters and uh, let's take you to delivery suite and then as they were taking me to delivery suite they're like actually no we're gonna open up the birthing center for you because it had closed so they opened that up and then the pains were like, I was in there not long at all. I was like, get me in the pool, get me in the pool. Cause you know, if you haven't birthed before or you've thinking about having a water birth, water birthing is so much nicer, so much easier than, um, I know it can put some people off because obviously you are in, you know, but you can shower. Right, and motherhood isn't glamorous you you know let's just put it out there I know that puts some people off but it's so much easier I had my first two I wanted water births but couldn't and then with Ollie I had a home water birth and then obviously with Ella I was lucky enough that they were like filling the water up and I was almost crossing my legs I could feel her head come in before the pool was even ready and um, but her head was like coming out and going back and coming out and going back and then there was like the pool's ready so I was like in the pool push the baby out <laughs> so I weren't in the pool very long just enough to birth 
which was which was good and uh, the midwives couldn't believe it they're like that was so fast I went from five centimeters to pushing baby out in no time at all but I did pre-warn them I did say my last two came in three hours and under so once these contractions start coming regular you know watch out my wife even said to me it's a good job you didn't go home because i was ninth on the list they gave me the option and said if you want um, you can just go home and come back tomorrow because i am so low on the list and i was like um yeah okay um you know I, if if it's not progressing then i won't but that's it we'll put you on the monitor anyway and we'll see how regular these contractions are so i was like yeah okay and because i was on the actual ward there was there's times that Danny can come on to the ward and times he's not allowed to so for like the first half an hour he had to sit outside and wait and the ward opened up at two so from two o'clock I weren't having regular contractions and then he come in at two and then my contractions kicked in around two and she was born at four um, or just before four so I was only labouring from complete start to finish for around two hours which is pretty quick right it's pretty quick <laughs> even the midwives were like wow that was quick <laughs> but um yeah so i'm very thankful that i didn't go home and that i managed i managed to you know everything went well and i managed to have danny there for the birth because he'd come in and then he was just with me the whole time so yeah because having a covid baby is very different um <laughs> with my face mask i didn't have to wear it while i was laboring but they've said now that i've had the baby i have to keep it on or i've pulled it down because i'm i'm a little dehydrated they've asked me to drink some water so i just pulled it down so i could have some water and i'm gonna go to sleep they honestly can't expect me to wear it while i'm sleeping so while baby's sleeping i'm gonna make the most of it because i've been up since four o'clock this morning um so i'm gonna take it off and, and have a sleep and uh yeah and i'll catch up with you tomorrow good morning so we had a real good first night um, she's a lazy baby <laughs> she's like my Liam my Liam was a lazy baby all she wants to do is sleep so we're doing skin to skin she won't latch on she'd rather sleep and uh, she's not opening her mouth wide enough to get her to latch on but yeah been feeling a bit emotional you know what it's like it's like when you have a baby you're filled with so many emotions it's like you don't know whether to laugh or cry you don't know you, you're overwhelmed just all these emotions just flood through you and you're just so in love so yeah I'm not sure when they're gonna kick me out I've been here for quite a while now it's really nice in here the birthing suite is it's a bit like a hotel it's very very nice so i've been messaging danny this morning and he showed the boys the photos of um baby lr and how it went and and we we facetimed the boys yesterday as well so they get to they got to see her via video even though they can't come in and see her but hopefully i get to go home today hopefully the boys get to see her She's so precious. Look. Hmm. We are just getting ready to go home. This was our room. I just thought I'd share it before I actually left. There's a radio that I turned down so I could record. This is the pump that I was connected to. These things are quite lethal. It hurts quite a lot, but it'd be worth it because we got some some good stuff for you, didn't we, sweetheart? So yeah, it's a, a nice double bed. And then you have your own bathroom, the bath, 
sink toilet. So yeah. I can't wait to see those boys and what they're going to think of this little precious one. The great reveal. What do you think of her house? Pixie, Pixie. She's sleeping. She is, she's sleeping. Small little dummy. I know, I know. She's got a birthmark as well on her nose, can you see? And on her forehead. And when she cries, it, it goes really, really bright. <laughs> when she starts crying, it glows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like Rudolph. <laughs> so tomorrow the baby's going to wake. Oh, bless you. Um, Babies sleep a lot of the time. A lot, a lot, a lot of the time. They eat and grow, eat and grow. Eat, sleep and grow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, we've got to get around and pass around. Mm. Yeah, let's get like around toy. back for me. No, let me move these cushions for you. So you sit nice and back. That's it. Put your legs down. Put your legs down. That's it. You comfortable like that? Yeah. I'm going to put cushion down. Oh, yeah. Just to help you. Okay. Yeah. You excited? Yeah, you big brother. What does it mean to be a big brother? Do you know? So responsibility. Oh, he's going to have some responsibility now. Oh yeah. Is it hell? It's okay. Ready? Oh no! Let me, let, as I'm moving your arms, let me. Okay. So if I move your arm, let me L loosen your arm. That's it. That's it. You boys all did the same with each other when you grew up. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Yeah, and you were like this your arm here is <laughs> supporting her head. But oh, Cameron, well. Mm. Oh my god, her head's moving. Yeah, she bites as well. <laughs> she don't, she's not got no teeth, don't worry, she won't bite you. <laughs> she has like teeth, one or zero teeth. Zero teeth, she has no teeth. That's why they serve them in the dummy. Mm-hmm. What do you think of her? Very heavy. You think she's very heavy? Her feet is small. Would you like to see her feet? Please. And her hands? Because you wait till you see. <laughs> she looks like she's in a straining uh, jacket. <laughs> she looks like a straight jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Put your finger in her hand and she'll grab it. <laughs> she did the opposite. <laughs> she, she did the opposite. No. <laughs> Fingers too small. Can she not control her feet? Not really. Not really, darling. I'm cute with those little feet. I think I can do them. She's spreading them quite widely as well, Liam. She's like you, with your feet. Monkey feet. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to hold her, Liam? Yeah, don't then. Right. I'll take her, don't worry. <laughs> You're gonna be safe. So when Mummy holds her, she's using her hands to support her neck at the back, you see? So then we put her in here. So then this arm is supporting. <laughs> and then I say just relax. She's hiding the dodie. She's like, for everyone that's going to criticise me for having a dodo, I'm hiding it. There's nothing to see here, people. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's an interesting thing about babies, what I learned from Operation Ouch. When they're first born, mm -hmm. they cannot see properly. They can't see properly, you're absolutely right. They can't see properly. They're like, I think black and white. I'm not sure, I don't know about that. I believe if you tell me. But I know things are quite blurry for them. 
It yeah. takes a while for them to be able to mm. see properly. Her head's so wet. <laughs> <laughs> Did she make a noise? <laughs> you should hear her pop. <laughs> Or when you're holding her and she pops and you can feel it on your hand. Oh. <laughs> 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 what do you think of her, Liam? Oh, mm -hmm. I hate her oh. ears, though. Mm. Look at them. They're, they're literally pointing. They're tiny. They are. They are really small. And then this. And then this. She goes, so she's going to cry in there. She's actually a really laid back baby. Yeah. She's sleep she's like you, Liam. It looks up. She's so laid back, she just sleeps and sleeps and sleeps. What about they me? wouldn't let me come home until they'd until she'd fed properly. And because she was just like <laughs> sleeping. Sleeping, <laughs> be careful, darling. She was so busy like sleeping. You were very inquisitive. Yeah. Tells her. You was on the go constantly. On the go. Yeah. You can't even see a sock on it. I'm gonna try and order. Of course, you can. Of course, you can, darling. Yes, to make sure she don't scratch her fan. Oops. Oh. Oh. They have naturally. They have quite a tight grip. Oh my mm. god. Yeah. Oh my god. Like, nope. Do you want to hold her camera? Mhm. Mm <laughs> 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 No. Look, are you naturally rocking her? <laughs> she likes her rock, didn't she? Yes. Yeah. You're going to be a natural dad. Not yet, I. <laughs> <laughs> but you had the natural instinct to rock her, where they didn't. I'm, I'm wondering if she's going to have curly hair, because her hair's a little bit wavy. Yeah. Whereas your, your hair and his hair was flat. straight and flat. But she's got a bit of a kink to her hair already. So I wonder. Around her, it looks like there's a swell. Yeah. Mm. Be very gentle with the top of her head yeah. because there's a hole on the top of the baby's skull. Mm. Mm. Yes, you be very careful. <gasps> she mm. opened her eyes. Because <laughs> her fingers stopped rocking her. That's why. Right. She's like, oh, what? She closed them. <laughs> it's okay. Every time she does anything little, he's like, oh, she did something. <laughs> No, no, no. No, she's like, no. Nah. <laughs> You're a crazy eye. <laughs> Show me the side eye. They <laughs> look blue. I know, but they, a lot of babies' eyes are born blue and then they change. So you just have to give it time and see which colour they change mm. to. Can't even you open her eyes? She can, she's just sleepy. She's just sleepy, that's all. Mm -mm. Yeah, she's a bit like, oh. In here, it's I'm like. so comfy. First ever born, do they. Is that the day where they start to cry? Badwin? Yeah, they cry pretty much straight away. Most babies cry straight away. But that one's nope. She did cry when she was first born. No, yeah. no, she's like. Mm. It's your brother. Mm -hmm. And none, none more. <laughs> These other <are> brothers <laughs> are going to be vetting your boyfriends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, he's no good for you. No, he's no good for you. I think she's looking at me. Yeah, she's waking up. I think she likes you walking her. Yeah, she sure does. She's breathing quite heavily. Yeah, mm. she's very relaxed. Her lungs are going to be pretty small. Oh, yeah, Her lungs will be very small, but mm. they're very strong. Oh. They're very, very strong. Oh my gosh, her heart will be tiny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can feel it. Yeah. If you, lay on your, if you lay on your back and she lays on your belly, you can feel her heart on your chest. It's so weird. It's that bum, 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 bum. They said in the um, hospital that her tummy is the size of a walnut. What is the size of her tummy? A walnut, really? A walnut, yeah, that's what the midwife said. You're so cute. And I was like, she's not getting a lot of milk. Well, not milk, but the, the 
payment. You ever thought about doing childcare? <laughs> MVQ, no. <laughs> level two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite surprised she took so easy to that dodie, you know. She loved it. She's um. poking out now. She's like, I've had enough of that now. Give me a time. Oh, yeah. And if you, if you just really gentle with her chin, you can see she sort of does stuff with her lips. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. Did you see that one? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like a little turtle, wouldn't she? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I think she's starting to wake up. Oh, oh. I'm waiting for her to say Mugwai. <laughs> <laughs> like a gremlin. Hello. She's always very bright. No, I'm going to go back to sleep, don't you? Oh, God, Lord. She's so cute. <laughs> she is, yeah. She's only looking at you. She's only looking at me. You don't think she can twist her head that far? No. She, no. she don't really have control over her body. Her, her body, yeah. Oh. How long is she? Where? How long does she can until she gets control? Be very gentle with her head, darling. Well, it's one step at a time. Yeah. So. You'll see, won't you? You'll see how long it takes her to get used to the light. <laughs> yeah. You think when you're in your when she's in my tummy for it's it's pitch black. Yeah. So yeah. it's a lot to take in, isn't it? Yeah. Although they can sense some light through the tummy, but not much. Do you want a daddy? <laughs> when they, they walk just before they're one years old, don't they? Well, or after. They're all different. <laughs> no. 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 We don't want that now. We're she's looking at me. She Sorry. is no. No, another no. small person. Yes. All these brothers. All these brothers. Hard one, aren't you? Did you have a good nap? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's done a look at us. Yeah, yeah. But she's got good hearing then, hasn't she? Because she's looking for the sounds that she's hearing. Wow. She's proper she's awake, awake, isn't she? Yeah, she's really, really mm -hmm. awake. She can't see much, but she can hear it. She can hear, but... And remember we had that conversation where I said that she will remember your voices. Yeah. Remember I said? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when you talk to her, she... She doesn't know who you are, but she recognises your voices because she would have heard you talking all the time for nine months. So she she kind of knows who we are. She's like, oh, I recognise that, that voice. Hey, Molly. <laughs> She's like, I know who you are. I recognise your voice. You spoke to me the most. <laughs> that is very true. That is very true. Ollie has been very, very, very much looking forward to meeting you. Yeah, if you look really closely, you'll see where the brain is pulsating. <laughs> is it now? Boys, he's lovely. Really he's like, this, no. this is science. <laughs> it's science. <laughs> it's because of that operation out. Your name's Ellen. I saw your gun. Be the gentle. Can I poke her nose? Here's <laughs> 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 keep pressing it, her tongue comes out. <laughs> I mean, feel the side of her head and how soft her hair and skin is. She's so soft.
Oh, yeah. It's so soft. Oh. She's just making gas sounds. Mm -hmm. I think her sound box is not really we like. Her sound box. I love you. <laughs> she she needs a new sound box. <laughs> Wait till you hear her cry. No. Oh, she does. Like, There's nothing wrong with that sound box. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm saying the voice hasn't really came out. Yeah. It's been a long time till she talks, sweetheart. We've got a teacher to talk. She doesn't know how. Oh. She's getting hurt. Yeah. Would you feed her? Should we get some eggs and give her some scrambled eggs? Some steak? Sausages? What do we think? What do we think, Rose? Squish! No. What do we put? Baby food. She doesn't even eat baby food yet. What? What does she eat? You're going to be so shocked. <laughs> milk? Does she eat? She drinks milk. Is that the only thing? Mm-hmm. Only. Ask her <laughs> where from. Oh, listen. <laughs> she, I heard it. She's nice. Oh. That was thank you. <laughs> <laughs> She's searching for milk. See what she's doing. See that? That she's doing. She's trying to find milk. It's okay. It's okay. That's my cue. Yeah. yeah. Do you get the milk? <laughs> <laughs> no, from the fridge. No, no. Ollie, 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 I love you so much. It's seriously, it's not as innocent as that. Have you seen any? Have you seen any programs with animals on it? Where do you know like the baby pig? Have you watched Charlotte's Web? Haven't you? Have you watched Charlotte's Pig? Yeah. Where do the where do the baby pigs feed from? The mummy pig. <laughs> calling me a pig. <laughs> You're calling mummy a pig. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna feed her. I'm gonna feed her. I'm gonna have to cut it because I'm gonna feed her. Baby Ella. Pixie in the background, like. Pick me, pick me. <laughs> I'll lay on your chest, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. So I thought I'd come on and end the vlog and just like tell you what's been going on since I last talked to you because actually little Ella is uh, 10 days old now. So it's been a while since I last recorded. We did have some rough days in there. Um, hormones are tough. <laughs> They're really tough after you've had a baby where everything starts settling back. Um, if you're on my Instagram, you would have seen the whole breast feeding failure that I had, which really, really upset me. And it's only now that I can talk about it without bursting into tears. Um, w when we were in hospital, she was even struggling to latch then out of six midwives, because I was there like a full day, a full night, and then a full day I actually left the hospital at 7 p.m. So with all the um, shift changes, I was with six different midwives, and out of all those six midwives, only one of them could get her to latch on to me. And you know, they're prodding and squeezing and manipulating and trying to get her on, and only one could manage it. The rest sort of helped me hand express or put me up to the pump, the express pump that I showed you in hospital. So she was getting something, but it wasn't necessarily coming from me a lot. So until I was able to get her to latch myself, they didn't really want me to come home. And I, I could get her to latch on only one of my breasts half of the time. And it would take like half an hour to get her to latch. And then she'd feed for like three to five minutes and she'd fall asleep because she's one, she's quite a lazy baby and it's a lot of effort for her to breastfeed. And two, by the time she got on and latched, she was exhausted. And then uh, 
it got to the point like when my milk came in she couldn't latch on at all because my breast had got so so full um that she was laying there with her mouth open like a little bird and just letting it drip in and i was like oh my gosh so it was it was quite a struggle and uh, then she started to show signs of dehydration she was starting to show signs of jaundice and i was like oh my gosh i just had to give her a bottle i spoke to my midwife and said that she's she's not getting enough and and then my breasts were getting worse and worse and worse to the point where i couldn't even hand express because they were so solid and lumpy when i was squeezing nothing it was just like stone do you know what i mean so i had to get put on a course of antibiotics for that not fun absolutely not fun it was so painful um i thought my you know i thought my boobs were gonna rip i never got a single stretch mark throughout my whole pregnancy and then with the whole breast feeding thing covered <laughs> my breasts were just like felt like they were tearing so the thought of connecting myself up to a pump would have it would have scared me it would have ripped me i'm sure they were just awful um but yeah, so we, we are formula feeding now. And she's so much happier. And uh, I, was cr I was feeding her bottles crying because I was like devastated. We put so much pressure on ourselves, don't we? But you know, us mums, we get it. Yeah, we do. I put her on the uh, Audi formula, actually. Lots of people have recommended that to me. And I spoke to the health visitor today. And she said that apparently it's made in the same factory as Aptamil, it's really good. She's had no problem. She's not sicky. She's not colicky on it. She guzzles it down. Since my breasts have calmed down, I've been on antibiotics and stuff like that. I have tried to breastfeed her again. I have kept to continue to try, but now she won't latch at all. Not at all. Which is a shame. She just won't. She won't take it. She's like, give me the bowl. Don't you, darling? Yeah. My tummy's like a pincushion because I've had to have daily injections to stop blood clotting. They said because of my age and that it's my fourth and other, they do risk factors and they, like, I don't know. I, I had to have them. Danny's been giving them to me. Danny's been so amazing considering how much of an emotional wreck I've been. <laughs> He's been so good. My house is full of flowers and cards and gifts have been coming through the door. These flowers here from my friend Nick, and that, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. I'd had gifts coming in all day, every day, and then they came and I just burst into tears. My daddy's like, why are you crying now? I was like, why are people so nice to me? <laughs> I've been so emotional. But I'm getting better now, because I'm talking, I'm not crying, right? So this is good. <laughs> Progress, not perfection. <laughs> But yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to say. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try and get back to you. I mean, I am better with Instagram, but like my comments, like as you can imagine, with a newborn baby and trying to get back to everyone's quite challenging. But I do appreciate all your comments and everything. It was really, really amazing. And the comments I got on my Instagram with the breastfeeding was just so, so supportive. Because you feel like a complete failure. And then you've got other mums saying, no, you know, it's not breast is best, it's fed is best. And so having those lovely comments of support is just really helped me through it, honestly. Because you don't then feel like you're a complete failure because you realise that all mums go through it. Well, not all mums, but a lot of us mums go through it. And so, yeah, I really appreciate you all. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.